Hello my friends and welcome back to The Long Dark on our Interloper playthrough and this is episode 77 when last we left off uh, we are in the process of making our way uh, back to where the rope uh, location is here in the ravine uh, let's see if I can take a torch okay the wind is probably gonna blow our torch out but keep going for it uh, so guys it's been a few days since I've uh, put up an episode I hope you've had a wonderful long weekend and uh, it's good to be back making videos again had some nice time with my family did some hiking and uh, a little bit of cave exploration uh, it's good to be back though I'm a little bit uh, a little bit out of the the practice of playing. I, th I think I should get right back into it. Seems like we're heavy. I must be carrying a lot of loot. I remember we got the uh, the bear hide. We are carrying the rope, which is pretty heavy. It's going to be weighing us down here. I think we have a nice sunny day, so I don't probably don't necessarily need the uh, the torch. Might end up putting that out here. Let's throw it over the, the ravine here. There we go. Right, it is good to be back though. Back into the long dark. And uh, I recall the, uh, the objective we have ahead of us. We do want to try to drop the rope up here at the ravine. I think this might... is that the ravine down below us? It might be the ravine. And I have never uh, never been down there on any other playthroughs. I've never never gone down the ravine. I'm not quite sure what to expect there. Um, one concern I do have is that we are heavy. I'm, I'm pretty heavy with stuff here, so I might want to find a safe place to drop that off. Uh, we might have the cave up here. We could drop the bear hide in the cave, get that curing. I think that's what we have right over here. And yeah, I've, I've just gotten kind of in the habit, it's a bad habit, I've gotten in the bad habit of carrying way too much loot. And I uh, need to figure out a way to kind of lighten up my everyday carry, kind of the gear that I carry with me all the time. Just a little heavier than I'd like it to be. And you know, if we're gonna if we're gonna drop down into the ravine and loot, I probably should really lighten up as well. Try to get rid of as much as I can. Uh, just in case we get some loot we want to bring back with us. Uh, the question I have is, am I going to want to come back up the rope this way, or am I going to end up coming back through the uh, the cave that connects Desolation Point to... Uh, not Desolation Point, um, Bleak Inlet. It connects Bleak Inlet to the... Uh, Forlorn musk egg. Okay, how are we looking here? So we've got cured gut. Let's drop our heavy bear hide. Okay. And I'm going to drop these as well. I might want to use our cured deer hide. I might want to actually use this to repair our clothing. Let me see what time of day it is. It's getting late. Do I want to head back to the trailers and spend the night there? You know, we could sleep here. Uh, I'm not quite sure what to expect down in the ravine. I would imagine there's got to be a cave or something. All right, let's check out our water. We're a little bit light on water. 
Let me see what else we can drop over here. Let's get a drink first of all. Okay, let's start with our firewood. We've got 14 coal. Uh, I would like to get that down probably to seven. Okay, food's looking pretty. I mean, we don't have a lot of food, so. Wait, this is, this is medical, right? We do have four burdock. And then let's check out our food. 23 cattails. Um, you know, I'm going to drop the pork and beans and the... Uh, maybe I'll eat these. Okay. Um, Clothing-wise, did, did I have anything I needed to drop there? Oh, that's looking okay. Um, we do need to fix up our pants. Um, I th if I remember right, it takes a really long time, though, to repair these. How long? Let's say, oh, an hour and 15 minutes. Okay, it's not too bad, I guess. Um, I might want to get a fire started. Fire hardened arrow. You know, I might harvest these up. Okay, let's drop our rope in the meantime. Yeah, it's going to feel a lot better. Okay. Last time we were here, we hunted up all the rabbits. So, I'd be surprised if we see any rabbits. Um, right now, I'm just looking for a little bit of firewood. Let's see if we can get a fire started. Okay, sorry about that guys. My computer just exited out of the program. Hopefully I'm still recording. Let's see if I can break this down. I got 50 minutes. Uh, trying to see if we have that much time before the sun goes down. I don't think I do. I want to just try to get a fire started now. You know, on the other hand, I think I might just go to the trailer. You know, at some point we're gonna wanna, I'm gonna wanna have the, uh, the bear skin over there anyway. Yeah, let's just bring all this to the trailer. Bring all the coal with us. Barely walk with this much gear. I'd really like to avoid trying to spend the night uh, in a cave if I can. I mean, it's, it's not that big, big a deal, but uh, messing with the fire and all that. Let's just head over. We can deploy our rope, take the bear. We can take the bear skin to the trailer. Yeah, I just prefer to have a nice warm bed to sleep in in a uh, secure location we're heading this way anyway got a little bit of lag there
Okay, I think we gotta go this way. Is that too big of a drop? A little bit queasy up here. Let's even get up here. Now, where's that rope deploy location? It's nice the weather's holding up pretty well. Here we go. Nice. Okay, we've got our way down now. Now, somebody in the comments mentioned that when they, whenever they come through the ravine here, they always try to hunt the deer, um, just so they always have that supply of meat, and then the deer timer can begin, so it can respawn. You just, just always have a nice, uh, a nice source of meat here. It's not a bad idea. If I see the deer here, we might try to, might try to harvest the deer. Do you see a few snowflakes starting? Just barely. Yeah, here it comes. I don't remember shooting this deer. This must be... Is this just one that, uh, that was already here? Kind of weird we're getting a double stick glitch. Looks like we got some birch bark. I'm sure we've been in here before. Leave that, uh, leave the cedar firewood for the future. I thought I heard the ptarmigans.
Oh, I wonder where the deer went. Seems like there's always a deer. Oh, there's one right there. Two of them. I think we've got two deer here. Hello. There we go. Thank you, dear. Get our arrow back. We got eight kilograms. Nice. Um, I doubt we can get a fire started. Yeah. Let's just see how much we can harvest up. You know, do I want to quarter him? It's only going to take an hour to quarter him. Let's go for it. Okay. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. Let's just take it over to the cave here. <sighs> yeah, I like the idea of having some meat here. That's really good. Where did that cave go? There we go. I feel a lot better spending time in this cave now that we've got something to work on. I can uh, harvest up these bags of meat and I'm much closer to the trailers if I need to uh, retreat. Okay, let's drop a bunch more stuff. I didn't realize I had that jerry can. Oh, that's from the that's from the mine, right? That's right. Now I remember. Um, let's drop this as well. See how much meat we can carry back with us. Although now I'm gonna get thirsty. Let's go get the rest of the meat. Yeah, I like the ravine. You know, it's uh, turned out to be a pretty cool, pretty cool place. It's kind of nice. There's no predators. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. Okay. Let's see if I can go around this way.
can hear the other deer. There it is. Do we want to go for two? Thank you, dear. All right, let's. Uh, we got the cave right here, I believe. Is that the cave? Oh, it's way up here. so dark it's hard to see there it is okay I do want to harvest up that other deer um, but I, I think we could possibly do it in the morning I don't know what do you think not too terribly cold. Looks like this. The actually, actually, the snow has stopped. Maybe I will head over there. You know, I still feel so heavy though. What am, what am I carrying? Let's see what I can drop. I got seven metal. Okay, let's drop that. Fourteen coal. What was, was that a black bear hide? Yeah, let's put this back here. All right. Uh, do I want to make a fire by the deer? You know, I just want to quarter it and bring it, I think. Um, yeah, I better get a fire started just to stay warm. Probably need to add a coal as well. Now let's go for the quarter, I guess. One hour. Use our hacksaw. Guys, I better eat. I'm watching my hunger. Yeah, we gotta get some food. Sounds like the uh, wind has really picked up.
I'm surprised the, uh, the fire didn't blow out there. Blew out. Okay. I am pretty excited about all that meat we got. I think this uh, this cave here is actually a really great kind of a base location. I think I picked up the deer hide as well, didn't I? Let's drop these back here. I need to find food. I agree. Let's get you some food. Let's eat one of those. surprised that fire is still going. Must, uh, I think we just got lucky with the tree placement there. Yeah, I was really lucky. I need to find food. Okay, question is, can we get a torch without it going out? I doubt it. Probably just gonna go out. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Okay, let's see if I can get to the wall. Over here. Oh, there it goes. It's out. Okay, nice, we made it. Okay, I'm going to sleep for an hour. See if we can warm up and also save our game here. And I'll see you in an hour. Pretty thirsty. Let's get a drink. Okay, now the question is, what do we do? We want to stay here and harvest all these up. I I think that's probably the best thing. If I at least get the uh, the, the meat harvested, we don't have to cook it up. Um, but let's grab some of this. Actually, I could just do it right here. Um. 2.3 kilograms, okay. We've got plenty of time and we're warm. I'll keep an eye on our 
on our uh, temperature. I might want to make a fire, so we are getting pretty hungry. Yeah, I think I will. As we're harvesting these up, let's get a fire started. Looks like I'm going to have to use another coal. I'm trying to be a little more, um, I don't know, what's the right word? Um, less stingy, I guess, with my coal. Sorry, Oops, didn't mean to pick that up. Um, yeah, it's such a great resource. Let's cook. Better eat some cattail cattails. Okay, an hour thirty-five. Um, I've never been so hungry in my life. Are these done? Nice. Oh, it feels good to have more food again. Let's put one on there that will last longer. There we go. 40 minutes. Ooh, that fire's gonna go out quick, isn't it? Um, we did have a cedar. Yeah, we got a cedar fire one. Let's use that. Okay, let's get some more meat. You know, how long will it take if I use the saw? Ooh, that's nice. Cuts it way down. Let's let's do that. There we go. Put these over here. Yeah, I'm really happy we, we got both those deer. That meat's really gonna help out. And this one I'll just do by hand. I need to find a place to rest. Yeah, we are really sleepy. Okay, we could probably just leave the, uh, oh wait, six minutes? Why is that? It's a little piece, I guess. Getting a bit 
thirsty. Eh, we'll put our last stick on there. Okay, I think what I want to do is get some sleep. Okay, nice. Let's put our sleeping bag down back here. Get a drink. And let's sleep for... Oh, let's go for six hours. Yeah, we should, we should be fine. You know, I don't need to re I don't need to regen any help, so let's I'll do three hours and then uh, we can just sleep in increments. Just to be on the safe side. Okay. Time of day. Sun is up. Um, but we are pretty tired. Let's sleep for another three hours. We're going to press the snooze button. Okay, looking better. Uh, I think I might go for three more hours. Probably should have got a drink. I think we'll be alright though. Okay, let's pick that up. Let's get a drink. Alright, there's good. Okay. Good morning everybody. Oh, I still have another bag I could have harvested. Uh, we can harvest that uh, in the back of the cave here. Look at all this delicious cooked meat. Let's pick that up. Uh, so I, I don't really care if we cook all these other ones. It's just nice to get them harvested. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Nice. All right, let's put all this meat outside. Put the raw meat out first. And of course, we still have that the uh, other deer over here. Just nice. I should probably eat some of this. Okay, so hopefully today's the day we uh, we uh, drop down into the ravine. You know, I was thinking of going back to the trailer originally, but this actually worked out pretty nicely. I, uh, I'm getting more and more used to using the caves, um, trusting our equipment, you know, n not having a fire. It's a little bit scary at first, as I, I don't know quite how things are going to work out, but kind of learning the mechanics to the game, learning that you can, you know, sleep in increments if you don't have to heal, and uh, just kind of trusting the, trusting the game, I guess. Okay, we can leave these here. Uh, I do want to bring some of this with us, and of course we are heavy. i got to figure this whole thing out. Okay, yeah, so we do want to drop. Let's drop these. I'm just going to go through our inventory. Could probably harvest that up. Got 12 coal. Let's drop that. I don't even know how I got that. How did I get unsafe water? Okay, let's harvest these up. Yeah, so this uh, this past weekend, you know, family went out camping, had a good time, 
And one of the places we went to was an ice cave up in Paris, Idaho. And uh, yeah, it was a very, very small cave. Um, it, was, it was a lot of fun though. Um, I had been there before and remembered it being larger than it was. We went in there and came to an end. I'm like, you know, this I, I remember it being a lot bigger than this. And we kept exploring and pushing back and I, I found a little uh, a little connecting tunnel. You had to get way down and uh, we were able to continue uh, f much farther back. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, but that cave has year-round ice in it. So it's very cold. Ice on the ground. There's like a frozen waterfall in, uh, in one corner of it. Alright, let's harvest some of these up. Oh, you know, I forgot to select the crappy bow when we hunted those deer. I gotta get used to that. It's just so easy to just pull out the bow without thinking about it. And, uh, hey, I started a new series. You probably, maybe you've seen it already. A new series of uh, videos we're going to be playing through the uh, As the Dead Sleep Challenge and uh, that's going to be pretty tricky for me. You guys know me. I, I take damage all the time. Little bits here and there and then I try to heal and uh, of course when you play As the Dead Sleep you can't heal any of that. Uh, once you lose your health it's gone. So it is going to be a bit of a challenge. Okay, I'm going to drop some of these torches over here. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Let's drop our fuel here as well. Jerry can. Put that back here. Okay, don't need these. Let's see. Probably want to drop some arrows. How many fire hardened arrows? How many of those do we have? Six, seven, eight. Let's drop these two. Drop those. Drop our pistol, distress pistol. I don't even know if we'll ever use that. Okay, we're almost lightweight. Could drop a couple of those. We just need to be light enough to get down the rope, really. I might want to take one. Let's take one stone. Okay, I think we're ready to head down. Uh, I gotta remember, I left all this here. Let's make a note. What do we call this cave? So, let's see. We are in the ravine, right? Okay, ravine, cave near Mystery Lake exit. We're going to leave our distress pistol. Jerry can. Um, some uh, wood. What else? Wood hardened arrows. Fire hard. Fire hardened arrows. Um, anything else? So we had some shafts.
So we got lots of meat and guts. Oh yeah, the quality tools. Oh yeah, the bear pole. Pull these little leads out here. Okay, bear pelt, two deer pelts, quality tools, and cured guts, I guess. And lots of deer meat. Nice. Let's head out. Get some food. Right, it is a good morning to be setting out. Be dropping down, hopefully, dropping down into the lower ravine area. Temperature is perfect. We're not taking any cold, uh, any kind of hit on our cold at all. Since we're here, I'm going to grab any new birch bark. Okay, well, just that little bit we picked up has made us heavy again, but uh, it's okay. I'd rather have the birch bark, and then I could, maybe if I just harvest these or craft them up, maybe it will uh, uh, decrease our weight. It's a beautiful day. And there's our rope. Okay, let's see if I can craft up some of these and decrease our weight. Craft, there we go. Okay, we're still heavy. Temperature is changing. Okay, now we're lightweight. I think we have to drop one of those. All right, let's go. Oh, you know what? I gotta get, make sure I have my crampons on. Let's do that. Alright, let's try that again. It's quite the drop. I'm just gonna go straight down. There's no need to stop. So we got our crampons. Heading up, I think, on the other way. On, on the other hand, if we're heading up, we probably have to Take a breather. All right. Oh. Okay, I want to put my insulation back on. I think every little bit's gonna help at this point. Yeah, let's have a look around. Got some more train cars down here.
What is that? Guns, guns, guns. This will come in handy. Alright, we'll take it. Hey, there's a stim. Oh, nice. That was worth the trip. Okay, we're not too cold in here. Actually, we were, we were actually warming up, I think, right? Yeah. Okay, that's nice. Let's replenish our stones. Oh my gosh. It's like three stones on top of each other there. Um, yeah, I don't think I need all these stones. How many did I pick up? Huh. There we go. Okay. Got some logs on the ground here. Let's have a look behind us. Definitely have the bad weather coming in. Man, this pack is getting kind of heavy. Cool. Got a nice view of the bridge. It's nice to replenish our cattail supply. I've been actually been eating quite a few cattails lately. Okay, so here's our view of the bridge. It looks like this might be a dead end here. Got some mushrooms. Oh, got a rabbit. Okay. Looks like we got a cave up there. Let's just check out this other end. Oh, okay. So this is the transition right there. Let's head into the cave. Let's see what our cave looks like. Hey, rabbit. Oh, we got a deer here. Okay. Probably don't need to get the rabbit then. Got some wood and a bed. Nice. Um, how tired are we? We're a little bit tired. Um, you know, I might pass a time. Let's do one hour. Yeah, let's pass some time. I'm going to save our video and our game here. Oh. All right. It's dusk, so I can't be far behind. Yes, it is getting late. Um, what do we want to do? I probably want to use this wood. We'll get a fire started. 
I do have the rabbit. Is there only one rabbit? I think I've only seen one. Let's see if I can get a good shot on him. There we go. Thank you, little guy. Okay, let's get a drink. Okay, so uh, when I just went to sleep there, or I rested for an hour to save my game, I actually restarted my computer, took a little break. And uh, one of the comments, I, I was able to read through some of the comments on the videos, and somebody commented about how um, there's actually a bug going on with the As the Dead Sleep challenge. This is nice. We actually have 2.5 kilograms. Uh, I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with that. Um, anyway, there's a bug going on where there's uh, no wildlife showing up and uh, lots of loot. But, oh, hey, we got an aurora. Um, so, gosh, guys, I'm, I may have to restart my playthrough on that uh, on that challenge. Kind of feel bad about that. Okay, we got the deer here. Do I want to get the hide? I may as well. 28 minutes. Let's, let's harvest this up. Kind of nice. We don't have any predators down here to worry about with the aurora. Let's see if I can get any of these harvested before we get too cold. Yeah, not too bad. Okay. So we got that completely harvested. Got a nice amount of meat uh, from the deer there. Alright, let's get a fire started. How many matches do we have? We're down to seven matches. Fire strikers at 61%. I'll go ahead and use a match. Be nice if we find more matches when we drop down into the uh, bleak inlet there. I need to find some place to escape this cold. Okay, let's drop this meat. How are we doing for water? Not too bad. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. You know, let's drop the uh, let's drop the hide to cure up here with the guts. We still have our cured deer hide. I need to use that at some point. Okay, let's harvest up our rabbit. Five minutes. Is there anything I can craft up in five? No. I'm not sure I can carry much more.
you know, since we do have the Aurora, we could use the light from that to uh, we could harvest up, or no, we could uh, repair our clothing with the deer skin. We could probably use that. Let's have a look at the Aurora tonight. Oh, we got the moon coming up. Very nice. Okay. Oh, hey, I missed one. Okay, how's our meat doing? One minute. Let's do a leader. Uh oh, I'm going to cancel that. Why am I standing on the cold side of the cave? There we go. Fire's going out just fine. Get a drink. Okay. Yeah, let's grab the gut. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try repairing our clothing. Was it the boots? That was our pants. Okay. Let's see if we can repair these. Nice, 100% deerskin pants. And I don't have to carry that deerskin around anymore. Okay, it's just about time to sleep, I think. Do have a uh, bed over here. This this provides plus two warmth bonus. Let's see if we use our own bed. What that's gonna do? Plus six point one. Nice. Um, let's try sleeping. I'm gonna get a drink first. And we're gonna sleep for four. Let's do four hours. Sounds like we do have a blizzard. Let's see if we were warm enough. Yeah, we're plenty warm. We do have a blizzard going on. Let's just have a look. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a full-on blizzard. We're nice and warm back here. Let's get a drink. Let's 
try five more hours. I think we'll be just fine. Um, you know, to play it safe, I'll do three hours. There's really no no need to... Uh, to uh, We're not trying to heal anything, so may as well just do it in increments just to be safe. We're still plenty warm. Let's do two more hours. And the blizzard has stopped. Now it's probably going to be cold out here. Uh, I I can drop any of this gear. Not quite the warmest part of the day yet. Okay, we'll put this out here. And I think we're ready to go. Let's see how much water we are carrying. Yeah, it's just about right. Yeah, I think we're good to go. Got a nice little cave for us. Okay, bleak inlet, here we come. Temperature is quite cold. Um, so I'm hoping we can either find shelter or I'll just make a fire here pretty quick. Okay, now I do believe summit at, Ra at Ravine's End. Okay, um, I do believe there are timber wolves. I'm not sure where they would be, but uh, keep an eye out. Okay, can we get up and down this? Got to remember how to get back up here. I hope it's not a one-way trip. Looks like it might be. Yeah, we might be able to get back up there. Okay, guys, I don't know where I'm going. This is, uh, this is all new territory to me. New exploration. around, see if there's a cave or some kind of building. Do you have a rabbit? Hey there, rabbit. He just like shot straight up. I've never felt so cold in my life. Okay, we do have some sheltered areas here. We could possibly get a fire started. Kind of worried about the visibility dropping though. And it seems like this time of day there's always a blizzard. You know, I was hoping uh Hoping we could find a cave or something right off. So I'm trying to trying to decide if I want to go back to the cave we left or uh, keep pushing on. Any more rabbits? Okay, I might go back to the cave. I'm really kind of worried about the storm. Actually, you know what? I'll just make I'll make a fire. Let's just make a fire. 
get warmed up, we'll cook our rabbit. Kind of surprised there are not more rabbits up here. A nice, uh, nice amount of sticks here. All right, let's make a fire over here. I hope we are protected. We'll use our fire striker. Getting pretty low on matches now. Check our temperature. Got 13 coal. I don't really want to spend a lot of time here. Let's see what happens. Um, let's get some water cooking. Okay, I don't suppose we can map, can we? Oh, it's actually going to let us. Nice. Surrounded by snow, oh, nothing to drink. Okay, um, we're going to eat up, and then I'm going to cook some tea. Okay, let's drop. We are pretty low on tea, aren't we? Might want to cook up some more. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Okay, am I carrying the meat? Yeah, let's eat that up. Okay, tea's looking pretty good. And water, how are we doing for water? Ooh, I got some, I got some unsafe water. I must have picked that up. I keep doing that. Let's boil this off real quick. So I'm curious how you're doing in your own run. Are you guys playing this? Or do you mostly enjoy just watching The Long Dark? Or are you also playing along? 
I'm curious how you're doing. Uh, what difficulty do you prefer, and how how are you doing? Are you surviving? Two minutes left. One minute. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Okay. Um, I will drink one of our teas. Get some rose hips. It's always nice when you find some rose hips. Okay, looks like we might have a cave. Or just a very interesting rock. I think I'll hug the left side here as we explore. We do have a cave over here. Looks like it might be blocked off. Can we get in there? Hey, we can, okay. Got a little bit of a bed. Some fuel. Still have plenty of daylight left. Maybe I'll take this with us. Okay, I would like to map here, or I could just spray. I think we dropped our spray paint, though. Let's go ahead and use a torch. I just never know, if I map, I never know if my torch is going to go out, so I'm going to start a fire. Come on, little fire. Yeah, let's see how long this takes. Okay. Looks like it keeps going off to the left back there, over there. Drop some of our teas here.
Okay, nice. I saw, I think I saw something up ahead. Possibly. Yep, we got wolves. Got lots of wolves. Sure, I'm not smelly. Have we already been up here? Looks like a dead end. How many wolves are we dealing with here? One, two. Probably what? Probably at least four, I would think. Hey, we got a tower. like this is probably the uh, the dead end this must be where we couldn't uh, pr progress I guess from below so we're gonna have to find a rope and uh, lower that down and uh, that reminds me somewhere up here we we need to find the uh, the secret code to get into the, uh, the metal shop or whatever Happy there's a tower here. Get some protection. See if I can figure out how to get up there. Is this a dead end? Well, hopefully I can use the mag lens once we get up there. Pensive lookout.
guess I should pay attention where I'm going. It's possible there could be like holes in the in the stairs or something. All right, let's do a quick lap around here. See if there's any loot on the outside. Oh, hey, we got some rope. <laughs> All right. I'll take it. Yeah, we know where that goes. Oh, wow. This is the nicest lookout I think I've seen. Uh, before I loot this, I want to go put the rope down there. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. Ooh, that wind. You know what, I'm just gonna drop it here. Oh yeah, I got some lag. Let's drop our rope. Okay, I better just rest and uh, save our game and our video. So guys, thanks for coming along with me. I think this is a great place to call it an episode. And uh, I'm excited to uh, continue searching the bleak inlet upper level here. And uh, if you enjoyed the episode, let me know. Please leave a comment, a thumbs up, or a subscription would be great. I do appreciate it. And guys, I, I hope you'll come along with me in the next episode. Until then, take care.